Hey friends, today we're gonna try a writer vlog. One thing I have to do today is start sending out the really fun things that those of you who signed up to get my paperback that just came out are gonna get some really fun physical goodies. So this is my first time kind of packaging things up and sending things out to readers, so I thought it'd be fun to bring you along. And you guys seem to really enjoy whenever I do a writer goals video, so I thought as I'm kind of packaging these things, I could also chat about how January went for me, how did I do on my goals, what I have planned for February even though we're like pretty much a week in already but I do have some really exciting things I'm planning to do and if you stay until the end I want to give a quick baby update now that I am 22 weeks we found out the gender three, three two, two one. one. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we started working on the nursery so I'll give a little sneak peek of that at the end too. Obviously the first thing I accomplished in January is coming out with the paperback of my novel On Wings of Ash and Dust and I have successfully sent out all the digital goodies that I promised my readers who not only bought the book but filled out a form on my website to get things like a custom soundtrack that I made for the book, digital wallpaper, and all kinds of fun stuff. I just finished the behind the scenes guide that I sent out to everyone yesterday. It took me a lot longer than I thought because I wanted to include a lot of really fun details and also make it kind of pretty. It has a lot of details details like what kind of things changed between my first draft and the final draft of the book and also what inspired things like the characters, the world building aspects, plot points. It's basically like a deep dive into my writer brain and annotations that you can enjoy while reading the book. It's actually something I'm really proud of so I'm thinking about even selling it on my website or my merch store. So for those of you that didn't get to sign up for the goodies but would like something like this definitely let me know in the comments because I would love to make it available for you guys. But today I am sending out the postcards to the first 50 orders who get the map of Phelan on the back, my fairy world, and the characters. And I thought this would be really fun because it actually works perfectly as a bookmark and people can kind of reference what the characters look like and also where the characters are traveling to as uh, the book progresses. They'll also get a signed book plate that I designed but I sent the design over to Mandy Lynn over at Stone Ridge Stickers and she printed these stickers for me that I can sign with my signature and then see if I can do this with one hand. People can stick right in their book to make it a signed book. So everyone who signed up on the form is going to get one of these so I've been practicing my author signature for the first time so that's gonna be fun to kind of fill out all of these. So let's see if I can multitask as I start printing from home the mailing labels that I'll need for everything and I'm gonna to try to also talk about how the rest of my January goals went as I do this. book plates and getting all the mailing stuff ready. Here's a few other things I got done in January. I will say I'm super excited that I actually doubled my sales goal for the first week of publishing my paperback. So that was super exciting. And 69 of you signed up for the goodies. So I just need to take a second and say a huge thank you to every single one of you who bought one of the books and are getting the goodies. I'm so excited for you guys to get them. I also got a lot more serious about being on TikTok because I've heard that that is a great place to connect with new readers, especially if you write YA. And so while I was coming out with my paperback, I was doing a bunch of TikToks all about my book and met a bunch of new readers who I know found my book on TikTok, then bought it because they signed up for the goodies and let me know where they heard about the book. So that was super exciting. My goal was to reach a thousand followers on there by the end of the month, but I got super close. So I'm still really excited about my progress. And after recovering a little bit from all the busyness of releasing the paperback, I'm excited Excited to get back into it. I also got to do an official bookstagram tour for my paperback for the first time, which was super exciting because I've always been intimidated to try to do it on my own and typically they can be kind of expensive. But a few of my friends have worked with Catherine from Sapphire Ink Press and just raved about her. And I just had an awesome experience working with her as she got all of the bookstagrammers together and seeing all the beautiful images with my book come up on Instagram during release week and seeing all the comments from new potential readers on 
on those posts was just a dream come true. A bookstagram tour has been on my bucket list for a while. So thank you so much, Catherine from Sapphire Ink Press. One goal I had this overall year as well was to start taking ads courses to learn how to do Amazon ads, Facebook ads, and all kinds of stuff for my books because that's a really great way to also reach new readers. And wouldn't you know it, right when I was doing my paperback release, Brian Cohen started his free Amazon ads course. So I did my best to get through as much of the material as possible. I didn't make it all the way to the end, but I did learn a lot. And now I have access to Mark Dawson's ads for authors course, plus a bunch of bonus things. One of the courses is actually about TikTok. So I'm really excited about that too. So I'm getting a little bit into February's goals, but that's one I definitely want to keep working on. And one more business related one was that I have a certain income goal for every month. I have a good, better, best goal. So if I make this first level of income, that's good. If I make the next level, that's even better. And if I make the best level, that's the best. So this month I made over my better goal. So that was really encouraging for being the first month of the year. excited for you guys to receive them said a little prayer that all of them would get to you guys safely and undamaged and that the people at the post office would be nice people and everything would go smoothly so I'll check back in after that's done and then um, I will also share some things that I'm hoping to do in February we got that baby update coming at the end so stay tuned all right here we go <sighs> okay so <laughs> the post office wasn't so bad and uh, I'm back here but it's getting dark so I've got all my lights on so we can start talking about some February goals that I can already check one off because one of them was to finish sending out all of the physical goodies so check for that one and to share the rest with you guys I think I'm going to jump into my notion because I've done some updating in there and I thought it'd be fun to share with you some of the goals while you look at my notion page all right guys so here we are in my notion and some of this will probably look familiar and some of it will probably look a little different if you watched this video from a few weeks ago where I shared all about how I use Notion as a writer. I recently found uh, some new templates, so I made some adjustments. So you'll see everything's actually gonna be broken down throughout the year by quarterly goals over here. And then I highlighted my top book goals and my top business goals for the entire year here, along with my word of the year. And I've got some other pages like my tracking page for social media and other fun things. So let's go into quarter one. And here I also made some updates. So if you need some more Notion inspiration, in quarter one, we have January, February, and March. So under here, I have the pages where I can click to actually plan those months. And then underneath, I have the main goals for each. Then at the end of the month, I wanna do a quarter review, kind of like the good, the bad, and the learned, and then what I wanna do going forward. So if you guys would like to see this at the end of quarter one, definitely let me know. But under February, in no particular order, I've got a book goal here of working on a new serial, which will probably end up being book two of On Wings of Ash and Dust. So this was actually in January's goals, but I couldn't get it done with all of the paperback release stuff. I moved it over to February and I would love to finish the outline slash synopsis for Ash and Dust's sequel and then send it to my critique partners for some feedback and do a little editing on that so I can start the first draft. I also want to do some research on how to do an audiobook because getting started on that for the first book of On Wings of Ash and Dust is one of my big goals. And I have a little note here to interview my friend Renee on my YouTube channel sometime time soon to actually pick her brain about how she went about finding an audiobook narrator, what her experience is like, what tips she learned, so I can also share it with you guys, which I think would be really cool. 
Then I also want to take Mark Dawson's ad course, like I mentioned before. And this last big goal stands for Author Website Bootcamp, which is my course that teaches writers how to create a author website and newsletter that grows their following while they're writing their books and their readership when they actually have books to sell. This is a course that is currently available, but there have been some updates to the platform that I use to create the websites. And I've just wanted to refresh the course anyway, add some new content. So I'd love to have that update for the course done before my baby comes. So my step for February will be to finish kind of outlining what's already in the course so then I can go in and re-script and figure out what I need to update. And I'll give you guys a little peek into February's monthly spread that has things a little more fleshed out with my writing goals, platform goals, which should say business goals. I got to update that. And then like you guys saw in that notions video, I have a spread for each week. So today I can check off pretty much all of this because I did some YouTube planning and I also filmed as I did all these to do's for the packaging for the physical goodies. But one thing I love about Notion is one thing I didn't get to do today was call KDP to help update my categories for my paperback on Amazon. So I'm just going to drag this over here to tomorrow. Again, if you want to learn how to set up your own Notion for your writer goals, I will link that video down below. But there is one more thing I definitely need to put on that list, and that's to keep working ahead of schedule to plan my YouTube content and TikTok and Instagram because I was doing really well when the paperback was coming out. But the book release, as I'm experiencing most book releases are, are just kind of exhausting. So I did take a week break away from content making the week after release, and now I'm catching up. But I do have a bunch of ideas I wanted to pass by you guys. So one of those ideas is to do a vellum tutorial, which is the program that I use to format my physical book. And a bunch of you have already said that you would love that one. So it's definitely on my list. And you wanted to know how I created the episode dividers in my book. Another idea, like I said, is interviewing my friend Renee on how she did her audiobook. I've also mentioned how much I'm kind of into TikTok right now. So if you guys want to hear about my experience with TikTok so far and the different tips I'm learning, I'd totally be up for sharing that. And I actually might be doing a collab with another wonderful channel, Carly and Brooke, who have been blowing it up over there on TikTok and Instagram Reels. So let me know if that interests you. And my final big idea was actually doing a few different kinds of vlogs. One is where I read books in my genre in the YA fantasy category. And then I kind of share with you guys what I'm learning as a writer from these books, which could include me creating a Save the Cat beat sheet for each of those books. And another idea is as I write the sequel of On Wings of Ash and Dust to actually vlog the experience and take you guys along. So I actually have a little bit more better of a record for this book from the plotting and early drafting stage to hopefully publication that doesn't take as long as the first book did. If there's any other videos you guys would really like to see, definitely let me know that in the comments. And if you are a patron or a YouTube member, you guys will get to vote on which videos get priority. Okay, now we're in the final part of the video where I just wanna give you guys a quick baby update because I know a lot of you were really excited when I announced that Ben and I are pregnant. I am currently 22 weeks pregnant. Like I said before, I'll give a little baby bump update. P.S. Yes. I do have Grogu Mandalorian sweatpants and they are the best and I live in them as many days out of the week as I can because staying comfy is important for pregnancy. And to share with you guys what gender the baby is because we did find out a couple weeks ago, I actually did a fun video where Ben and I recorded our reaction finding out what we were having and it was really fun. I shared it with my friends and family on Facebook so I'm going to share a clip of that here and then um, I'll share a sneak peek of the Nursery, and then we'll wrap up this vlog. Hi friends! Hi! Hey. <laughs> Today we are gonna find out if we're having a boy or girl. Um, I am 20 weeks pregnant, 20 weeks and yeah. a day pregnant, and we went to the OB today and they wrote it down and put it in an envelope for us, and then one of our dear friends was nice enough to um, help us out, look at the envelope, and put something inside here that's going to tell us if we're having a boy or girl. <laughs> and we decided in lieu of the world right now, we're not gonna have an official reveal party, but we thought it'd be cool to film this, film our reaction and be able to share with you guys. <laughs> How are you feeling? Great. <laughs> so we actually, we went to Target and there is either a little kid uh, sweatshirt in here that has an Avengers for a boy 
or Disney princesses for a girl. So, um, I guess that's it. I guess we just open it now. That's it. <laughs> All right, okay. so which way should we open it? Should we open from the front? No, we should see it first. Okay. I think. All right. Right? Okay. Yeah, we should open this way. Sure. Okay. We didn't really think this through. Wait, okay. So open the side closest to us? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. okay I lift this side, you lift that side. Okay. Wait, no, you lift this side. Oh, I lift this I side. Lift this side. <laughs> right, because we're going to tilt it? Or do you want to just open I the wanna whole thing? I want to get our reaction first, and then we can show them. Right. Yes. Okay, so are we tilting the this part up? <laughs> this part up, this way. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. All right, this here we go. Life. <laughs> this is This is it. We're going to find out. This is the gender of our firstborn child. Or, yeah, yeah, our first. First child. Okay, okay. count down. Sure. Okay, three, <laughs> three two, two, one. one. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh my god! Show everybody. Yes. We it's have a boy. boy! Oh my god! <laughs> <sighs> we asked family and friends, and they were like, "I was like, which one do you think it is?" A lot of people were saying girl. We were kind of thinking maybe it would be a girl, but we're really excited. It's a boy. Um, this is super cute. This is super cute. Show them the. It says, "I'm an Avenger." Yes. It's got Thor. And Hulk and Captain America yes. and Iron Man and I have Christmas ornaments that look exactly like these. Yes. yes. <laughs> so yes, but we got the news that um, everything is normal, everything is healthy. Oh yeah, we have the envelope just to like triple triple check. But um, we're we're having a boy, a healthy boy. Oh, it says congratulations. Oh, it's typed up. Oh, it's all official. Congratulations, That's... it's a boy. Here, can they see it? Is it yeah. like yeah? yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're having a boy. Oh my gosh. Uh, what? Wow. Um, I probably should have asked before we opened it what you guys thought it was going to be. <laughs> but let us know if you guessed correctly. Um, and uh, and if you're excited with us, we're going to welcome a little boy into our family. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh boy. And now that you know the gender, here's a sneak peek at the nursery. It's definitely messy in here because we've been doing a lot of work. But the first step was painting an accent wall and getting rid of the annoying beige that was on the other side. So we got this nice like light gray. But my husband Ben put together this amazing accent wall and we picked out a blue that we loved. And I'm just so excited because it looks so cool. I think we're going to put the crib like right there. And I'm just so excited that this step is done because then we can actually outfit the room and make it super cozy for our, our little boy. Ben worked so, so hard on this wall like all day. So I'm really proud of him. And yeah, we're just excited and I'm excited to figure out kind of writer mom life. I really appreciated all the comments and advice I got on the pregnancy video. But thank you guys so much. And this is the end of the vlog. Let me know if you enjoyed it by hitting that like button and in the comments if you'd like to see more vlogs like this one. Until the next video, you can check out one of these videos and we'll see you there.